Hey, favored ones. Come on in and take a seat at the round table and throw the, your coins in the wishing well in the corner if you care to. Today, I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to do a, a vlog of my astral travels because I had a really uh, cool meeting last night with one of my guides. Um, and I wanted to share it with you and hopefully you're all interested. Um, I'm sure there will be or else my intuition wouldn't be telling me to take this leap of faith. So here we are. Um, last night I had a vague familiar uh, face of a, a woman come to me. Uh, she was black and had like a big afro and it was clear as day like she was thanking me for giving her our own room to hang out in and she started playing this organ and it looked like almost like one of those little like uh, churches and she started playing the piano and singing and I could see numbers on the thing that would usually be like for hymns or or scriptures or whatever um but i just think they were for angel numbers and it, uh and it just looks i looked it up there were a number uh 203 you so 23 could be important to some of y'all or uh 203 um and the other number was 243 and it's really interesting because most times they say that people don't usually can see numbers in dreams that's why you would be able to know you're dreaming and get yourself out of it is by looking at the clocks most of the time so it was very interesting and it gave me a good indication that it was me astral traveling instead of it just being a dream um but yeah she uh sang to me and then I woke up and I meditated on it for a while after looking up the numbers and um, I remembered one other time where sh the same woman visited and got really close to my face in the stream and I couldn't see anything else but just a glowing face and light and the hair and uh, saying that I was going through a dark night of the soul and I wasn't, I was really in a dark um, moment and I, I was sleeping a lot more and uh, she came through in my dream saying that uh, I'm a miracle baby just as every other baby is a miracle. We are all a miracle. Uh, we are all divinely orchestrated and planned. So. It was it was really nice to have that like um, that lifeline thrown out and I remembered uh, that it was the same woman so it was like the second time uh, reaching out so I looked it up and uh, what I found out was uh, the goddess uh, Ayla who is like a Mother Earth and translate in Norwegian um, into like ground and like of the earth. And her symbols are like, uh, uh, she's a goddess and uh, she rules over the underworld where she, all the people who die come back to her, to her womb. And, uh, it reminds me of the cosmic uh, womb where when you leave to go back to the astral there's uh, if you went through a hard time they do give you a cleansing uh, space to go into like this cleansing womb of a uh, good energy that helps heal you uh, it kind of re reminds me of that So it's uh, the Igbo community in Norwegian. No, no, I'm wrong. I had it wrong here. It's Nigeria. Yeah, no, I had it wrong. I had it backwards. There, that's not the right one. Um, 
but yeah, it's Nigeria. I apologize. I'm just was looking her up today after I had the dream and remembering that I had seen her before. And that's usually a good indication. It's when like it's happened a second or a third time. I will usually look into that guide because it seems like they want to reach out and may have some lessons for me. Uh, if you wanted to see more of videos of like when I've had it gone on astral travels, I would like to make a series of vlogs. So if that interests you, if you could leave a comment below and a like, and uh, that would be appreciated. Thank you. And uh, yeah, no, uh, where was I? Yes, rules over the underworld. Uh, symbols are the crescent moon and python. So a lot of you might uh, resonate with snakes or a crescent moon. It was really cool that uh, that Ayla wants to reach out considering I was born on a uh, waxing crescent moon. So I, I, it's just the confirmation there when I was looking up and the symbols coming through. It just really resonated that um, yeah, for me anyway. Uh, other equivalents are Juno and Ceres, uh, uh, Roman equivalents. But yeah, her names are also Anana and Inanna, so the the mother of all. And uh, I believe that it's like a like I was talking about the one time about uh, imprints. I feel like I've, uh, in this lifetime, I've really connected with a lot of the different um, ascended masters of imprints and goddesses that have gone through from the first Anana, who was like the original goddess mother uh, in Sumerian um, culture. So I've uh, had a lot of different run-ins, so I would definitely say that for another video, but that I feel like this is one of those uh, equivalents as well. Uh, the fact that it's from in Odinana, you may uh, be receiving um, messages from Odin at this time. It could be confirmation for people. I didn't realize there was going to be reading um, confirmations for people through doing this as well, which is really cool. Um, Ayla was in charge of judging human action to, and everything, all the ground is considered holy land as Ayla, it is Ayla herself because she is mother nature. I've had a, a really close connection to, to nature and I've the only thing I really could connect to was like the earth even when I was having times where I couldn't I because I didn't always like connect with uh, deities like um, knowingly anyway um, but I always like loved the earth I always loved mother earth and and the sky which is uh, hilarious uh, uh, um, synchronicity considering that Ayla's husband is the sky deity uh, Amadoa which is really cool uh, I hope that you all enjoyed uh, hearing about my dream if any of the numbers or the sim uh, synchronicities or symbols relate to you as well. So I'm just going to pull a card to see if Ayla has any, mess any messages for you, my favorite ones. I know it's supposed to be a vlog, but I figured, well, I'm already up here. And Ayla kind of reminds me of like Ayla, Ayla Shayla for the like gang goo golly song from like camping and like scouts growing up, which really relates to me as well. Uh, for because I 
in my area, I was the first person who was female to be allowed to go to Cubs. And uh, it really helped strengthen my, like, divine masculine. Uh, but over time, I did have to step back into my divine feminine as well. Um, back to spirit. <laughs> oh yeah, Shayla Ayla. Um, another way of spelling Shayla is also the name of what the fairy uh, castle's name. You know, like how you name, for me anyway, I name my homes as like extra protection because then entities can't enter if they don't know the name of your home. It gives it extra life and uh, its own autonomy to protect itself. At least that's my superstition and practices. Either way, it's not the intention behind it. Um, but the fairy castle has a name, and it's Shayla. And I always thought that was uh, pretty cool. That, And I feel like that might be... I, want, I might learn more, you know? This is my, just my first meeting. I'm just recognized her at all. For anyone who doesn't feel like you're like far ahead with your astral travels or anything else like that I am still trying to get this together because like it took me more than a couple of times to even recognize uh who who it would be but it was amazing when I looked it up and looked up her uh looked up uh female goddesses and went through and as soon as that name I saw the name and it like hit struck home for me and I looked at it and the picture looked exactly like her and uh, what I saw from my dream and I had never seen um, physically here that before messages for favored ones ace of materials you are cultivating uh, and collecting uh, ways of being kind to yourself thinking to yourself in kindness and you are blossoming in your knowledge and wisdom and you are taking in so much nourishment of of truth and I feel like it's your turn to talk favored ones it's your turn to talk if you're wanting to, like me, start a vlog or start anything, it would be a good time right now to, like, get it kicking. Um, of course, read fine print and uh, check, double check all the checks and balances with it being Mercury retrograde um, and take re as many as rests as your body needs. But I feel like it's your turn to talk. Um, in the circle because there might be like the circle of everyone gets a turn to talk and it's your turn to talk because holding that like stick there is like it all the first thing I heard was talking stick I'm also seeing a flute so you could be Celtic uh, you could also have uh, ties to like the orchestra uh doing lessons or receiving lessons you know there is since this would be a general reading and messages may not apply to everyone but it should be collective energy there is that and it actually you want to win everyone deserves a chance to talk and everyone deserves the chance to tell their story so I've, and savoring the moment you're learning to savor the moment and you're reprogramming the gray matter in your brain where there's like the gray rocks and I feel like you're leaving like little pebbles for yourself hold on let me quench yeah you're watering yourself at this time yeah, you're leaving, like, little pebbles of, like, every time you uh, reach a reward, um, a reward, 
Uh, no, I don't want to say that. How do I want to say that, Spirit? Each time you've completed what makes, um, completed something, even though you've been feeling depleted, you are rewarding yourself instead of giving yourself grief. Like, if it took you a while to get to the dishes, you're not going to tell yourself the whole time, you know, you should do this the whole time. You'd be like, wow, you you had the spoons to do it. Good for you, you know, because that just shows how not lazy you are. As soon as you had the chance and the energy to do it, the first thing you did was take care of yourself. Or maybe that taking care of yourself wasn't the dishes. Maybe it was taking a nap the first time, a moment of chance that you had that downtime. Or maybe it's carrying around um, a piece of paper and pen for when you have inspiration or when you need to feel your feelings and you journal it. You were doing it one pebble at a time. When you were going to hop across the ocean for yourself and you are... So, um, when you are hopping across the ocean for yourself and uh, it's like... Uh, what is... I have a couple of analogies coming through. It's like when, like, the pathway opens and closes and you, like, have to, like, use the same um, stones. Or It's like Ludo. It's like Ludo. Rock friends are coming through for you when you don't see a path and every time you go to take a step, there's, there's solid foundation there for you. You're being solid for yourself. Yeah, you're being solid right now. You're taking care of yourself. You were blossoming. And you were an accessory with all the accessories. Uh, yeah, you were an asset. You are an asset. You are accessorizing your talents and your mind. You are innovative. You are ban you are on in a band trying to be in a band, possibly with the hair band there. Yeah, you have backup. Because you see the hair's already up, so that elastic there is backup. You have backup. You have backups for your backup for your backup plans. And you are moving like 10 steps ahead. Yeah, you're thinking in circles. And Spirit just wants to make sure that if you're living inside of your head, that you're making it a nice place to live in. If not, then to start taking action and talking if you've got a lot going up on here then you need you know the best way to get it out is to journal talk it out sing it out hum it out um when i was going through therapy uh my therapist suggested when you're frustrated or upset about something um singing it uh fun you know in a funny voice or in um the sequence that of a nursery rhyme like if you stubbed your tongue you'd be like 
Now I just stub my toe. You can swear if you need to. Stub my toe. Maybe I should, you know, just <laughs> talk it out. Maybe I shouldn't walk into doors. Like, I shouldn't walk into the corners and, like, I don't know, thinking on the fly here. But, you know, sometimes you got to think on the fly. And I think you are able to think on the fly, which is, like, innovative. All right. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. And you're saying it, too, my favorite ones. You are. You really are. You're coming out of your shell. You're not afraid to leave that comment. You're not allowed. You're not as afraid of, of singing for yourself and your cats. You're not. Uh, you're, you're looking fear in the face and saying boo. Because uh, it's like, usually it's like, I know there's a lot of uh, different sayings for it. It's like, it's like F everything. It's like fear, F everything and run. But mine is uh, like, uh, feel everything and release. So I feel like to feel everything and release and make sure. And it looks like you're already doing it. So like, just keep up the good work and it's your turn to talk. And yeah, that was my, my blog my blog I hope you enjoyed it and when I know more uh, or have more meetings with uh, Ayla I will certainly uh, share it along with um, if you wanted to see more videos of course I will um, update you with those as well all right remember to eat hydrate and have fun